Peace y'all, I am ICC and today I will show you how to hook up the SN30 Pro and the SF30 Pro to your Titan II. Hooking this controller up to your Titan II will allow you to use this on your PS4, PS3, Xbox One, Xbox 360, Raspberry Pi, and more. You may ask why one would sync this to the Titan II and not straight to the console. Well for one, it will not sync with the PS4, PS3, Xbox One, and Xbox 360. So not only will you add compatibility, but it will also stay synced to the Titan II, so you only have to sync it once. Then you can just plug your Titan into whichever console you want, and once you power on the controller, it will connect. The first thing you need to do is take your Titan to your PC or Mac and plug it in via the probe port on the back. Launch the G-Tuner software. If you haven't installed it, you can get it from consoletuner.com. Just look under Titan 2 and G-Tuner for software. Once you have it up and running, you should firmware update just in case. Click Tools, check for updates, and update if need be. Now that we have everything installed and up to date, while G-Tuner is still open, click Device Configuration and then scroll all the way up. Have your controller ready at this point, but first, click Pair Controller Wirelessly. Now grab your controller and hold Start and Y until it powers on. The LEDs will go from left to right, and once you see this, hold the Sync button for about 3 seconds. Wait just a moment and it will sync with the Titan II. Once it's synced, you will see the LED light up solid with no blinking. Now every time you power on the controller, it will automatically connect to the Titan II as long as the Titan II is powered on. If you want to use the controller wired, push Start and X at the same time and wait for the controller to power on. Once you see the LEDs blinking, you can plug it into the Titan II. You should also plug a controller from the console you are using into the Titan 2 as well. This will help authenticate with the console and you can avoid any issues. You can also authenticate through Bluetooth if you are on the PS4, so just keep that in mind. If you guys have any issues or problems, feel free to leave a comment and I will do my best to help out. I will be doing more videos on how to connect other 8-bit doll controllers via Bluetooth some of them aren't compatible via Bluetooth right now, but I will be doing them as support is added. Okay, so what I have going on, the Titan 2 is right now plugged into my PS4, and I will use my 8-bit doll controller. I want to show it from the beginning so you see every step and just how easy it is once it's synced. Just wait for the PlayStation to boot up. Once you see the Titan is on, the output is green. Hold start to turn on the controller. You'll see it stop on one, and you'll see that go to zero. So even before the PlayStation is booted up, I'm ready to game. So once this actually boots up, I'll use my 8-bit dough SN30 Pro, and we'll pick a game. So let's see what we should pick. Anything right now, it doesn't really matter. Uh, what I've been playing lately is Mutant League football, so we'll go into some Mutant League. So yeah, that was just X. All the buttons are set up exactly how the PlayStation buttons. There's L1, R1, L2, R2, even L3, R3. All these act as you know your square, triangle, X, and circle. Everything, in my opinion, is a go. It's perfect. So yeah, now we will try some Mutant League football. So loading time takes a while, but now that we're here, I'm just showing you it works. So um, I sh think I have a, yeah, we'll just continue my season. We'll, uh, 
I'm three and zero. Oh. I've already won a Mayhem Bowl. Now this we're going for my second Mayhem Bowl right here. So let's see uh, some stats. I like playing defense, so uh, let's take a look at some defensive stats. 1,300 yards against, best in the league. 82 a game, best in the league. Okay, so never mind. This is the stats from the Mayhem Bowl I just won. Playoff is over, as you see at the top. So we'll just back out of there. I'll just get a, a play now going, but I have to go with my Denver team, right? But as you can see, everything works great. So, let's see. Is it on me? So I watch. I'll kick to the left. Square. Oh, crap. I forgot you're supposed to hold the power button down. I'm used to, like, all the other football games. You gotta, you gotta tap it once to start it, tap it second time to kick it. In Mutant League, you just hold it down. I always forget. So watch, okay. Dirty tricks. Um, first, we'll do ginormous. I'm not going to play the whole game, so it doesn't really matter. Get him. Get him, get him. Get him. So, okay, there was ginormous. This one, uh, we'll just do... This one we'll do a regular one, we'll do the blitz, but you can see on the right, he is blitzing. That is the play. Ah, uh, he, he did a dirty play too. Dang it. Get him. Okay. Oh, get him. At least nobody died. Alright, dirty chicks, I'm bribing the ref. So, square, which is on this controller, Y. Okay. Let's go to another game. I guess we'll do Sonic. Sonic's a real easy to game as far as controls. It's going to be re real easy to tell if I'm using a controller or not. But I mean, as you can see, it works. Sega. We'll do one minute of this real quick. Then we'll call it a wrap. Royal Ocean Zone Act 1. So down, down. Most of the buttons don't do anything in this game, but you can jump. All three of the buttons are just going to jump. Triangle doesn't do anything. Okay, so left, right, left. There's no lag either. This Bluetooth module works really good. Way better than the little dongles that I played with on uh, all the other devices. So we'll go a little zoom here. Sonic is one of my favorite games. So uh, a new Sonic the Hedgehog that's actually like good. I'm all for it. Oh no. So there you have it. Controller works great. Gets a thumbs up from me. Definitely. So yeah. Anyways, I'm ICC. Thanks for watching y'all. Peace.